Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Lunch Break is sponsored by our friends at Pusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This afternoon, we'll tell you about Florida gun laws hitting snags in the Senate, NASA celebrating a successful long-distance test, and more. Today is Wednesday, December 6th, and this is the Lunch Break. The Fort Myers City Council took its first step toward passing a ban on medical marijuana sales for at least another six months. Councilmember Michael Flanders stressed that he wanted the public to know that this was a temporary measure designed to give the city more time and not a permanent ban on medical marijuana. The law did not give local governments many choices when it came to how to regulate the new dispensaries. Assistant City Attorney Terry Kramer explained to the council that they are waiting to see what they do in Tallahassee to see if they let cities have a little bit more leeway. Naples, Bonita Springs, and Estero have all passed similar temporary bans, citing the same concerns about lack of local control over regulation. Estero made theirs permanent in November, while Collier County recently extended their ban through June. The ordinance, which would be in effect through July 1st, will require two public hearings in January before being passed. With the 2018 legislative session still more than a month away, gun-related measures might have died Tuesday in the Senate. The Judiciary Committee, which has been a stumbling block in recent years for Second Amendment-related bills, narrowly rejected proposals that sought to allow Floridians with concealed weapon licenses to carry firearms up to the entrances of courthouses, inadvertently display their handguns, and bring weapons into religious institutions that include private schools or daycare facilities. Opposition on the committee to the gun-related bills came, as it has in the past, from Democrats and some South Florida Republicans. Senator Flores of Miami, who voted against all three bills, also said a change was needed on the bill dealing with allowing the inadvertent display of handguns. Such a change would indicate the temporary display was conducted in a non-threatening manner. While Senator Debbie Mayfield of Rockledge argued in support of the religious institution measure to prevent a repeat of carnage that occurred last month at a church in Texas. Read more about Florida's proposed gun laws at NaplesHerald.com. NASA has nailed an engine test on a spacecraft 13 billion miles away. Last week, ground controllers sent commands to fire backup thrusters on Voyager 1, our most distant spacecraft. The thrusters have been idle for 37 years since Voyager 1 flew past Saturn. Much to NASA's delight, the four dormant thrusters came alive. It took more than 19 hours for controllers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California to get the good news. Engineers wanted to see if these alternative thrusters could point Voyager Voyager 1's antenna toward Earth, a job normally handled by a different set that's now degrading. The thrusters will take over pointing operations next month. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 and is the only spacecraft traveling through interstellar space, the region beyond our solar system. Voyager 2 is close on its heels, nearly 11 billion miles from Earth. The thruster test worked so well that NASA expects to try it on Voyager 2. That won't happen anytime soon, though, because Voyager 2's original thrusters are still working fine. The recent switch could extend Voyager 1's life by two to three years. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. For your twice daily news fix, head over to the Naples Herald YouTube channel and subscribe. Leave us a comment to let us know your thoughts on the news or what you would like to hear about. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.